YouTube. Man, um, I'm going to make this short, man. I'm going to make this short. Jared the Swift Herd, man. You know, I call him the money roll. He's got the money roll. You know, he does that Philly shell. He's going against, oh boy, from uh, Detroit, Tony Harrison. Okay? Tony Harrison. Uh, you know, these guys fight at 154. You probably heard of um, Tony Harrison. He got knocked out versus, uh, was it Willie Nelson? <laughs> Willie Nelson back in like 2015, July 2015. Well, he's been on a roll, man. He's been, uh, you know, he beat he beat Fernando Guerrero, you know, who like who hasn't beaten him. But um, that's a bit harsh. But you know, Fernando Guerrero, um, he was fighting out of Baltimore for a minute, man. I think he's supposed to be like Dominican or something like that. But anyway, uh, Jared Hurd, man, he's back, man. He's gonna be fighting under Deontay Wilder. Versus uh Gerald Washington uh, undercar, so uh Tony Harris, Tony Harrison, and Jared Hurd they going at it, man. These are two man. These are, this is good, man. These are two young prospects. You know these are two young prospects. Uh, you know ranked I, as of right now, man. A box rank they got Tony Harris is ranked number ten at uh, one fifty four. I'm trying to see where they got Jared Hurd because to me. In my opinion, this is Jared Hurd's coming out party, man. Yeah, this is Jared Hurd's coming out party. Yeah, J they got Jared Hurd at, um, you know, rank number 14. Uh, if you guys don't know, he just beat JoJo Dan. JoJo Dan, you know, he fights at one, uh, 100 and, uh, what was that, 47 pounds, you know, welterweight. I never heard of him fighting uh, any higher than that. But, um... I think box rig, man, they took off the weights. You know what I'm saying? So I mean they got the guys' weights on there, but as far as like, you know, uh learning, you know, whether the guy was like jumping weight classes or nothing like that, they they took that off for some reason. But um, you know, some people don't swear by box rig, you know what I'm saying? I but I can only go by what they put up on there, man. So anyway, Jared the Swift heard Versus uh Tony Harrison, our man from Detroit. This is a good American matchup, man. It does. They're gonna co-feature on this, man. They, you know what I'm saying? They second to the main event. You know what I'm saying? So um, not sec. You know, you know what I'm saying? They they, they right up on you know Deontay Wilder and Gerald Washington. So it's, this should be on television, man. You know they fight down there in Alabama, or well, not Birmingham, Alabama. You know. So um yeah man let me know what y'all think man y'all got y'all got to check this guy out y'all got to check if you never seen Jared Hurd if you never seen him fight man this this is this would be a good time to uh go ahead and check him out um if you don't have cable or whatever like that or you don't have television but maybe you have internet or something try to catch a stream um Maybe later on, uh, the following day, or maybe a couple hours later, somebody would have, um, you know, posted up their fight online. I mean, he's that good, man. I'm pretty, you know, he's that good. If I find a link, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If you never seen Jared Hurd fight, I'll put a link up to that. Um, you know, JoJo Dan versus um, Jared. You know what? I probably just gonna put up again uh, the fight. Uh, you know, Frank Galarza. A Frank Galarza fight. That was about almost two years ago, like 2015. Yeah, November 14, 2015 versus Frank Galarza. That was really his coming out party. Like, nobody knew who he was. I think he was on, like, Showtime or something like that, one of these uh, PVC series, right? And uh, a lot of guys were like, man, who's this? Like, damn, he was looking good. Because, you know, it was like everybody, they seen Frank Galarza, you know what I'm saying? They seen a lot, a lot of Frank Galarza, you know, Frank Galarza looking good. He beat he beat up old boy, um, what was that, Thompson with the the painter? Um, I think he goes by, like, the Apollo kid or something like that, man. He whipped him. And um, doing some ESPN, you know, series or something like that. I don't know, Boxino or something. I don't know, man. It was a while ago. It was a while ago, you know. But um, anyway, long story short, man, 
He beat this dude Oscar uh, Molina. He was an undefeated fighter. And then he beat um, uh, JoJo Dan, you know, not too long ago, uh, back in November of last year. So so he's staying active, man. A lot of people like the way he looked, man. I'm telling you, ever since that Frank Galarza fight, ever since that Frank uh, Galarza fight, you know, they've been putting him uh, regular on television and stuff like that. So looks like he's fighting like maybe every five or six months or so. Um, and he's moving up the rankings, man. He's moving up the rankings. I think this this fight right here, how he performs against um, Tony Harrison, will tell us a lot about where he's going. You know what I'm saying? So as far as where his rankings are and the sanctioning bodies, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, he is enrolled in Nevada, uh, per what I see on uh, BoxTrek.com. So he, as of right now, man, he's clean. You know, he's, supposedly he's clean. Uh, he's a tall, um, one fifty four fighter. So we we probably looking at a, a middleweight. When he was fighting, man, JoJo Dan, guys were saying like, man, this guy dude's probably like a super middleweight. Man, he's just as big uh, as Jamal Charlo. You know. The big twin, man. This dude's like what? Um, let's see the measurements, man. He's like six one, uh, seventy six, seventy uh, six inch reach. Twenty six years of age. He's gonna be turning twenty seven this year. Um, he debuted in September um, of two thousand twelve. So. Yeah, man, he's into this fifth. He's a fifth year pro, man. He's looking good, man. He's nineteen and 0, 13 knockouts, uh, sixty eight percent knockout ratio. And then again, he going against uh, Tony Harrison. You know, he can bang a little bit. You know, he got eighty percent knockout uh, ratio. So, Detroit, Michigan, in the house. So yeah, man, this is good, man. This is good, man. This is a good matchup. Um, that's all I can say about it, man. I can I can't do no fight breakdown, man. I'm just trying to hype this fight up, man, cause I I'm excited, man. I like uh, Jarrett's uh, uh, herd, man. So I call I call him the money roll. We got the money roll, man. I'm telling you that the way he uses that shoulder roll and everything like that is money. You gotta check it out. All right, man. I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.